There has been so much speculation. I mean, during the whole of Strictly, you looked, you know, online, it was constantly, are they, aren't they, rumours about different things. Mm. To be able to finally just sit down um, and, and say it, and be honest, must have been a huge relief, really. It was, actually. Yeah, I, th I think that's the thing. We just, um, there's suddenly this big elephant in the room, and, and it's normally you'd sort of deal with those things privately, but yeah. obviously being on a, such a massive show, like yeah. people were talking about it, and... Um, we just thought we're quite positive people in general, and we just thought rather than sort of hide behind this big elephant in the room, let's get on top of it and have a ride around and, and, um, just, <laughs> and, and just say it and, and yeah. just be respectful to all of our sort of fans that will support us and anyone that yeah. wants to come and see the show. Just be open and honest about it and well, get it, back it's, on. Um, yeah. uh, was the tour planned before this happened? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the tour's been planned since, since last year, because we did our first uh, national tour together yeah. last year. So did, was there a stage where you thought, oh, God, you know, this is the last thing we want to do together, but let's do it for the fans? No, absolutely not. I no, mean, I think no. that never really crossed our mind, and it's something that, you know, we've been dancing together for seven years, and, yeah. and that bond that we've created as, as friends, first of all, and then as professional dancers, mm. has been very strong. So, I mean, to let go of all of that just because our private life hasn't worked yeah. out the way that we've wanted it to, mm. um, it would have been quite, you know... God, you need to give hard. a lot of people some lessons. I mean, no. it is a miracle to see a couple go through a divorce, like, actually being <laughs> able to work and spend this, and be as kind of grown up about it as you really. Yeah, I think it's really important to just stay positive and, and you know, because mentally and physically it is, it is a very tough thing to do, but, you know, I think we're in both in a really good place and we're both really happy and, and I think it, it shows other people that you can go through things yeah. mm. and you can continue working with someone that, you know, you, you love very much and that you, you respect and that you admire. So, I mean, I think it's something that you can always work on, and, yeah. but you can continue. It's that life does go, go on as for us professionally. Because you look you look at the dancing there and see those moments when you just sort of cover together. And you oh, just imagine you coming across the really floor good. and going, I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> no, 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 I'm no, taking no. everything. I mean, <laughs> dancing's how, how we met, and, and yeah. dancing is what like, sort of our relationship's always been based on. Yeah. It's what we've always done for the last, was it, seven years, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and it's what we'll continue well, to do. This, this, this has confused everyone today. Um, that, that ring on that finger, because everyone's going, well, hold on a second, what's going on here? <laughs> well, we're not divorced yet. Yeah, no, so, no. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, so, we haven't really talked about that. To be yeah. honest, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so, so just mean, leave it. It's just there. Yeah, yeah. it's just there. Yeah. yeah, and we're just just fully focusing on the tour, really. Yeah. So, so the tour. I mean, this is you had, like you said, you had your big show last year. It's, it's even bigger and better this year. I mean, you've got an orchestra, you've yes. got other dancers, yeah. uh -huh. um, and it's kind of the idea is that you've gone back and looked at all the inspiration in your lives that made you the dancers that you are. Yeah. Yeah, we were we were thinking of calling it Thirty Five Years <laughs> in the Making because <laughs> that's why I thought it was. Yeah, you think it's a better title, don't you? Yeah. What um, have you actually called it? Kevin and Karen dance live. <laughs> that's what it says on the team. Right. <laughs> <laughs> thirty Five Years in the <laughs> Making. That's what we should have done. Yeah, because, because you're both thirty five. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, because. It's based around all the um, sort of inspirations and things that have informed us as dancers. This is what we really wanted to explore, yeah. all the different performers, not just dancers like sort of Fred Astaire, Gene Kelly, Ginger Rogers, Sid Charisse, but um, also any sort of um, singers, you know, like I'm a massive Robbie Williams fan, Michael Jackson, you Beyonce. had Beyonce, and then different musicals that we love, different yeah. um, movies that have inspired us. Basically all the different inspirations um, throughout our lives that have sort of We've been inspired by to become the dancers and performers that we are today. Mm. And is there an element of kind of outdoing each other in this then? Do you have your own bit and then you come and go, right, it's like a dance-off? Yeah. A little bit, <laughs> a little yeah, bit yeah. yeah. There is, a, there is <laughs> a bit of a narrative within the show where we're sort of competing with each other. You for, have to for... come and see it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, you're being incredibly honest. Yeah. You? you really are. And as, and as Holly said, you know, it's, a, it's a remarkable achievement. Yeah. But it's going to be weird, isn't it? You, you do a show together, having done... You did last year, which was so successful. Mm. You do your show, um, the euphoria of the first night, and then, OK, right, well, see you. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to yeah. be Well, you know, bit, funny enough, much. because on, on Strictly, you know, we, we hardly ever saw each other. So it was just one of yeah, these things true. that we always work together. And, you know, we take... We're very professional and we love our jobs. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't... You know, it's not like I'm never going to see him again. We're, we're, like, stuck together. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, when I, if we do finish a show, I mean, it's just like, you know, we all go back to the hotel and we have drinks with the cast and, you know, it's... It, it's nothing's it's really going to change. But the same. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and what about Strictly then? Because obviously, you know, we were all surprised when Brendan it was no longer mm. coming back. Yeah. And I imagine for you, because he's such an integral part of the team, that must have been a weird shift. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's going to be, be missed. Um, yeah. And it was it was a little bit weird because he's like our big brother. You know, he yeah. always kind of took care of all of us. And 
and it's always it's always sad to see somebody go, especially yeah. him. Mm. Yeah. You know, he's been there from the beginning, and he was um, he was a great part of building Strictly that you know we love. It's such yeah. a, an amazing family. It must show. be a feeling of hey, hang on a second, yeah. no one's safe here. That's true. Well, that's the thing. We've yeah. all got to be at our best all the time because yeah. uh, you know the, the the show does evolve. That's probably why it's been so successful. That it, it, it keeps evolving. It keeps changing. It keeps looking for. The best it can possibly do. Are you coming back do. next to Christmas? World no season? one knows yet. Ah! Well, I'm sorry, <laughs> we don't know. Nobody knows. No, we, we wait till a bit later in the year yeah. to find out. Oh, um, well, you're not going to disappear to America, are you? That we saw no. the rumours saying you were going to go up to dancing with the stars and. No, no. I mean, I the first time I came to. Uh, to London was when I was in Burn the Floor in 2009, and I absolutely fell in love, yeah. you know, so with this, this city. And I, this is my home now, mm. and I'd love to stay here forever. <laughs> well, guys, listen, it's so lovely to see you. Thank you for coming in. Your oh, first show is the 22nd of May. It's not called 35 Years in the Making. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's we'll... the Kevin and Karen tour. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Thank Good luck you. with it. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, guys.